It was about 10.15 Alaska time, about 11.15 Pacific, when tsunami warning sirens blared in coastal Alaska cities and towns, including Kodiak. Kodiak had seen the devastation before. These pictures from a King TV crew in 1964, the results of a magnitude 9.2 earthquake and a devastating tsunami. We're vulnerable to tsunamis here in Washington, even from long distances. Just last month, state emergency management put up another tsunami warning siren in Edmonds, but it wasn't triggered last night. What warning did you get? So we received an information statement. Alyssa Tapero is the tsunami coordinator for the state's emergency management agency. This chart shows the level of tsunami alerts, from warnings to an advisory to a watch. An information statement in green says no action is needed and no tsunami is expected, but things could change. Emergency managers were on the phone with the National Tsunami Warning Center overnight. When was it clear to you that this was not going to be something serious? So that information was passed on to us in the second conference call with the National Tsunami Warning Center. They let us know that they would be sending out a cancellation after that conference call, that there was no danger for us and we could essentially stand down. But how did the National Center know that? Well, they watched data from a series of buoys near Alaska and near our coast that connect with electronic pressure gauges on the ocean floor that picked up the earthquake in red and a tsunami pressure wave in green. Even the pressure wave in Alaska was small. And then they look at the dart buoys as the waves are spreading away from the earthquake and determine whether they're big or not. Harold Tobin is Washington State seismologist and an expert in these types of earthquakes. A substantial number of them don't create really big waves. And the thing is, is that you really don't know which earthquakes will give it to you. So you have to assume that anything above a high magnitude six or a seven could potentially do it. it says when you come to a magnitude nine, the tsunami is pretty much guaranteed. Live in Seattle, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.